Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to discuss the important and difficult topic that is tumors of central nervous system. So you sometimes get a long question in your university exam. So you have to describe gross and microscopy of all the tumors of the central nervous system and the brain. So I will describe seven tumors here. And sometimes you get a short question on individual seven tumors, one of the seven tumors that is gross and microscopy. So I will be discussing the pilocytic astrocytoma, glioblastoma multiforme, oligodendroglioma, ependymoma, meningioma, medulloblastoma and schwannoma. I will be discussing all seven, the gross, microscopy, site, introduction with everything. So if long question, write down all and if short question write down individually that and i will give you a comparative analysis so that you can retain them easily so let's start tumors of the cn so here you can see we are starting the topic that is tumors of central nervous system so let's start it so as i told you first i will let you know the classification of the tumors of central nervous system first write down complete classification then from that classification we pick the seven important one with seven, so first I will teach you the pilocytic astrocytoma, then type 4 astrocytoma that is glioblastoma multiforme, GBM. Then I will teach you oligodendroglioma, ependymoma. So these all are the gliomas. Then if gliomas is coming, you have to write all these. Then we will come on meningioma, then medulloblastoma, then schwannoma. So basically you have to understand the introduction of each of them, the most common site in the brain spinal cord of each of them, gross of each of them and importantly microscopy. You have to draw microscopy of each of them in your exam with the proper labeling. So we will, we will do that very easily, don't worry. So let's start the brain tumors. Before that, you must understand the uh, diagram of the central nervous system, the structure of the central nervous system. In the central nervous system, we have brain, we have spinal cord. You can see this is brain and this is spinal cord. So you all can see this is brain, this is spinal cord. Now the brain and the spinal cord are made up of parenchyma. This is parenchyma. The parenchyma is made up of cell. There are three types of cells. What are the three types of cells? The parenchymal cells which constitute the parenchyma of the brain and the spinal cord that is central nervous system. What are the three types of cells? The most common cells are the neurons which do the signal transmission. So neurons are the most common cell. So tumors can occur in the neurons also. The second most common tumors are not of tumors of neuron. The most common tumors in the brain is of the supporting cell tumors of supporting cell. The supporting cells are known as neuroglia. So that's why tumor of the neuroglia is known as glial tumor. Glial tumors are the tumors of neuroglia. What are neuroglia? They don't do signal transmission. They support neurons. These are the supportive cells. These are of three types. Astrocyte, oligodendrocyte and ependymal cells. So tumor of astrocyte is astrocytoma. Tumor of ependymal cells is ependymoma and tumor of oligodendrocytes is oligodendroglioma. So these three together known as glial tumor. So if glial tumors coming in your exam, you have to write all three. Okay. And finally, the microglial cells are the macrophages in the brain and the spinal cord. So that is the various types of the cell. You understood it. Now coming on the classification of the tumors of the brain. In the brain, there are two types of tumors. What are the two types of tumors on the brain? Primary tumors and metastatic tumors. What are primary tumors? Primary tumors are the tumors that arise in the brain or spinal cord only. And metastatic tumors are the tumors which are not arising in the brain and the spinal cord. The primary cancer is somewhere else in the body and they are metastasizing in the brain as a secondary so that is known as metastatic tumor so primary tumor arise in the brain only and they arise in the brain only grow in the brain only that is primary tumor the primary tumor they arise in the brain and the spinal cord only but the secondary tumor arise somewhere else in the body and via blood or lymphatic it is reaching in the brain and producing multiple secondaries there so which is more common primary is more common or secondary that is metastatic is secondary which is more common so secondary is more common the metastatic is more common primary is less common so i will teach you primaries here but you must know primaries are not more common in the brain in the brain and the spinal cord the metastatic tumors are more common so metastatic central nervous system tumors are more common as compared to primary so you can see here the tumor which is coming from somewhere else in the body so tumor is not arising in the brain it is coming from some other part it is coming from some other part to the brain so uh, it is the most common tumor in the brain so which which tumor most commonly metastasized to the brain lung so if the primary is present in the lung most common it is the most common tumor which is metastasizing in the brain followed by breast followed by skin the melanoma of the skin followed by kidney followed by git so you have to learn the sequence so brain uh, lung followed by breast followed by skin kidney and git these are the five tumors which commonly send the metastasis to the brain so these are metastatic brain tumors so currently i am teaching you the primary one what are the primary brain tumors? Tell me the classification. So this is the final classification of the primary brain tumors. We divide the brain tumors into four categories. The brain tumors which arise from the neurons, the main neurons are known as neuronal tumors. The brain tumors which arises from the neuroglia. You know what is neuron?